and I welcome you back to the Debrinning Channel. And tonight we are talking about California. We're talking about the drought. We'll be talking about Lake Oroville. We'll be talking about Lake Shasta, Lake Folsom, and Trinity as well. And we are going to get right into it. As you saw this slideshow at the very beginning here, we're going to go back to the 29th of November. And you can see right through here, it was really dry. And we, we scoot on here December 6th. It starts to shrink a little bit. Watch this little spot here. It never goes away. The rest of it all seems to go away. Here we are December 13th, December 20th, December 17th, January 1st. You can see it's shrinking January 10th. And January 17th is the latest. And you can see, like I said, this little spot never goes away but the rest of it has shrunk look at colorado here it is really shrunk arizona has shrunk a lot of the droughts right through the central part of the united states including kansas and oklahoma and texas nebraska a little bit up here in south dakota north dakota montana's really dry as well so the rest of the united states is not an extreme drought but dry so good news but is there more rain to come let's go investigate let's see if this will go completely away and be all the way out of drought here in the next few weeks let's go find out as we roll out to california you can see that you're going to get a little precipitation in the next three days 0.53 inches up here by lake oroville over by south lake tahoe 0.35 we go over to mammoth lakes you're going to receive 0.3 so a little precipitation here in california nothing crazy the best is probably here at lake oroville we continue to roll on there's nothing beyond that in the next five days we go the next 10 days and there's a little bit more precipitation coming now this is the european and it's 0.85 it's a little bit of precipitation no widespread rains like we received before a lot of that has shifted up here so we'll be watching that as well we go to the gfs the gfs is saying a lot more rain here for California. Lake Shasta up here, they're saying 2.44. Yuba City down here, 1.3. South Lake Tahoe, 1.65. So from the central to the north, they're saying more precipitation, not so much to the south. And over here, they're talking about 1.24 inches of precipitation. Now, how much is this new snow? A little bit. They're talking about some more snow coming to California, 27 inches here. And then up here by Mount Shasta, 31. So you could possibly get some more snow on top of all the snow that has already fallen so we'll be watching to see if that comes to pass see what ultimately ends up happening you can see where that extreme drought is there's still no precipitation there as well but they're saying a lot of snow fall for the colorado which is good we definitely could use some more and i'll be back with more colorado information in the next day or two so be watching out for a colorado river update because this could get interesting if this holds to pass so let's keep rolling let's go to tropical tidbits and see what they're calling for in the next 16 hours here we are rolling out to california and you can see that they get this little system that they were just talking about and it spills way down to the south and then there's nothing for several days here and then this big storm's coming through this is the one i guess they're calling for this is the gfs model and then another system right through that that kicks through and then another one beyond that so they're they're saying that it's getting ready to get active here in california over the next 16 days we'll have to wait and see if that happens could be a very interesting february coming up so we'll be watching this over the course of the next several days to see what happens this takes us well into february and we'll see how much precipitation actually falls and we continue to roll on out we're going to go to lake oroville's water level and see how much it has come up here we are at lake oroville you can see they did have some outflows earlier this morning at 2 a.m seems like they're releasing water at night they had 2001 out your ends were 6169 you can see that the lake has slowed as far as that goes a lot of snow melt has been happening 23.9 inches have fallen at the lake and you can see that the storage acre feet is currently 2,240,520 acre feet and we go out to the line graph next here we are at the line graph and you can see for the first time since i've done a video last time was 7.99 the lake has come up five foot it's currently at 804.23 feet and this was friday january 27 2023 at 12 p.m 
a.m. The level is 95.77 feet below full pool of 900. Changes since yesterday, still impressive, 0.81 feet. This thing's really skyrocketing, and if more precipitation does come, like I said, they will have to open up the gates, or they will have to start letting water out at a very rapid pace. If they get as much precipitation as they're saying, we could see possibly 40 to 50,000 cubic feet per second. And for the person that's asking for metric, I still haven't had a chance to look that up. Some people are asking for metric. Sorry for the inconvenience. I didn't know that people outside of the United States were interested in metric. So that's what we got going on at Lake Oroville. Much higher than any other year. You go all the way back to 2019 and it's higher than it was in 2020 already. It's not as high as it was in 2019. It was 894 feet. Remember, it come almost to the very top of the spillway, but if they continue to get all this rain that's supposed to come into the system, I'm saying that it's a very good possibility, likelihood, that we could possibly look at big-time inflows. They could rapidly rise. We could have major flooding coming down the pike, worse than what we already have. These records are already past 1983, as I showed in my last video on Lake Mead. Instead of going up to Lake Shasta, we'll, we'll go down to Lake Folsom first. Here we are at Lake Folsom. You can see that they are releasing water out of Lake Folsom and they are releasing more water out than what's coming in. So the lake is falling. You can see the last outflows and inflows that were recorded was 5,434 out, 4,482 in, and that was at 11 a.m., your current lake level as of 11 a.m. was 504,711. And that is what's going on at Lake Folsom. We go up to the line graph next. Here we are at Lake Folsom. You can see that they're rapidly letting more water out than it's coming in. And you can see it's lower than it was last year at this time. But it wouldn't have been had they not released water. But they're trying to balance it out just correctly, as the lady said. I watched the video on that. And she's like, it's a balancing act because you got to consider the next several storms that are coming through and the GFS is actually showing that these storms are going to return back to California coming up so we will be watching that as I showed you current water levels 417.12 feet Friday January 27 2023 at 12 p.m the level is 48.88 feet below full pool of 466 it's really not that far as this thing rises rapidly and then they slowly release it as you saw it in 2021 and then it comes up really fast if they allow it to so changes since yesterday the lake has come down 0.24 feet and over to lake trinity we go next here we are at trinity and you can see that the top of the glory holes 2370 feet and you can see that it's almost made it to the cedar stock boat ramp those of you who are wanting to use that before too long you might be able to so this was last updated on sunday january 22nd so we will go to the other page but just keep in mind that the top of the glory holds 2370 feet that is where the dam is and we continue to roll over to the other line graph that they have so your current water level is 2225.08 feet and this was friday january 27 2023 at 12 p.m the level is 100 144.92 feet below full pool and the thing is on the rise changes since yesterday 0.15 so this thing is coming up so keep that in mind and we go over to your inflows and outflows for trinity next your inflows have been as low as 978 in the last 12 hours, but they have been as high as 1,698. And your storage acre feet is currently 756,669, so almost three quarters of a million there at Lake Trinity in storage acre feet. Not quite, but getting, getting there. And let's roll over to Lake Shasta next. Here we are at Lake Shasta, and you can see that your outflows have been 25. Your inflows have been anywhere from 11,000. 1229 to 8352 storage acre feet has been 2,532,366 and let's go to the line graph next your current water level at lake shasta is 985.87 feet msl friday january 27 2023 at 12 p.m the levels 81.13 feet below full pool of 1067 changes since yesterday the lake has come up 0 0.49 that is all i have for today thank you guys for stopping by i hope you all have a fantastic weekend and we will see you on the next one guys God bless.